Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about how to do the D unit test. So just first I will open the D unit X project, right? Here we need to select the setup and the down method to go the important method. We need to create the object and destroy the method for each and every right test case. And just take the some of the sample test method. Okay, just click on OK. So we'll get this the framework complete, right? One unit will come out. So D unit X dot test framework, right? This unit we are using. And after that, we are seeing here the one class is there. And in this setup and tier down method that we have checked it, right? So this setup and tier down method is coming, and we have checked it for the project, some of the test cases. So these are the test cases coming. Okay. So as of now, what I'm going to do. Just I will remove this uh, sample test case okay? and later I will add uh, our own test case here. That is an also I am removing. Right. Now let's create a unit, right? Let's create a project and uh, we will write the logic over there. We will create one calculate method. Okay. So just take one VCL application or uh, we can add it here on VCL application. Right, and in this VCL application, we are going to create one calculate uh, class. Calculate class, okay. And there's one method just I'm going to write uh, so that we can see how to do the unit testing, right? Function uh, sum up two number, right? Sum up two number. This one passing number one and number two. Okay, and teacher, and it will be written teacher. Okay. You have to write the logic. The full set C. The simple is fit result. The two number one plus two number two. Here I have created one class, and that class has this uh, only one method, sum of the two number. It will take the two parameters as integer and return type will be integer, and the logic is uh, uh, just sum of the two number and return it, right? So this method we are going to test in our test framework, right? So what I have to do, I have to give right the unit for reference into the the our framework, uh, right? Unit. So I am I'm giving the unit four reference, right? Just compile and then see if so all the project have built it. Yeah, so we are able to build it, right? Now unit four I have added here. So I I am able to use right this D See this D calculator. D calculator class, right? Just click. Right. So this can be calculated class. I can use it here. So this uh, I'll click on private variable object cal object the calculator okay. and uh, object cal object calculator. Now what is the setup and tier down method? So Setup method will always exit for each and every test case, and tear down also will exit for each and every test. So, what exactly will uh, execute? Uh, what exactly we need to write in the setup method? So, we need to create an object, right, of a class, right, for those method we are going to test. Okay, and tear down will free the object. So, setup, we can go and write create the object of our class. It, right and in tear down I need to free it. Here it's fine. Right now I need to write our test case. Right and here we see that the initialization section that they are registering them. Right in my test object class. Okay. 
So let me write here my own test case here. Here I have written the fetch add to number. Okay. And that will pass the value one and value two to parameter. Okay. And this is the expected result. Okay. So what this this is the attribute, right? What we are passing here, eight, two, and ten, three parameter. Why? Because eight is is going to the value one, two is going to the value two, and ten is going to the result, right? So what we are expecting here, eight plus two equal to ten, right? So just give a definition of this, right? So in this, what we do? right we have to call our method right of the calculator class so that's where i'm declaring some that i am taking a variable so that when i call my some of the two method right i need to store it in a integer variable right so i have the object right object calc I can call my method some of the two number that is there, right? That is there in the unit four, right? This is my program, right? So I'm calling this method to test it. So through the class object, I can call this method. So class, this is object calc is what? Object calc is nothing but the type of t calculator, right? And the setup, we are creating the object and tear down, we are free. So, in this test case, I'm just calling my method, right? And I'm passing the parameter because this sum of the two number will take two parameter, right? Num and num two, and it will return the integer. Okay. So num one, what I will pass? I will pass the value one, right? Value one, and num two, what I will pass? Value two. Okay. So we know that. What is the value one and value two? Then the value one and value two is coming eight, value one is eight, and value two is coming two, right? So now when it will go here, right? It will go here and it will return the eight plus two equal to ten. Perfect. So in our sum variable, it will be ten, right? So now we are passing some value to my method, right? This method will get executed, it will return something and then we can validate it so what is the expected output is so this is my expected output that also i am passing here in the attribute right so this is 10 so i will map with right what are the result is coming with my expected output right so both are matching that means my method is or whatever i am expecting it is right coming from this method right so this is the result method dot r equal and we can pass it here so we can pass it here this is the return value from the method and what is expected so okay, this right if both are equal then our test case will be passed right if both are not equal then our test case will be fail let's run it f9 So this is the project is highlighted and you have to highlight the D unit X framework project, right? And just see that F9. Yes, we can see it here. We have this is the test, right? And uh, running the setup form test, and you can see that here the success, right? Is the success so we have only one test case and one test case is pass right and here the test add to number okay so test to add to number we are is testing okay this is the test case we are testing fine now we will run it and see how it is So let me put the breakpoint and I will run this project and uh, we will debug it and we will see that how this uh, which method will execute first and how it is 
finally uh, the output is coming so we are seeing here the setup method it will call so here the object will get created and uh, after that it will go to the once object is created this this add method right it's going and then it is getting call this method so f7 i'm doing so it is going to the, our, the unit where the actual method is there that we are testing so fn and it will return the 10 right because number you are passing 8 and 2 right so you can see that what is the number 8 and 10 is going right and it is result is 10 now for me so now this is the 10 result is coming from this method when you're passing the 8 and 2 value to this method right and we are comparing with the expected output right so expected output is 10 so 10 is from where is coming it's coming from this attribute we are passing here right 10 so now we can compare the sr dot r equal right equal to our sr dot r equal uh, r equal we are passing the this is the what is the expected output is coming and sorry what is the output is coming from this method and what is the expected output both are matching if you see that so that's why test case is pass now we will just change the value here now we will change the value here so now we will pass the 8 and 2 but expected I am just to make this uh, our logic is working or not right so just I will make it 11 so I am expecting it should be 11 right but actually it will come 10 so what will happen in this case this some test some other two numbers will get failed right so just run it f9 so just i'm pressing f9 okay now we see that what is this number is going uh, as a parameter num1 is 8 num2 is 2 right and sum is what coming 10 from this method some other two number right and what is all expected is 11 right this is actually wrong but just i will be testing so this is the expected output is 11 right but both are not matching here if you see that are equal 10 and expected is 11 not matching so test case will be fail right so we see that one test case and it is fail total found test case one and one test case executed so it is fail coming right and we can see that the fail message also the expected value is 10 but we got 11 right 